Hello YouTube, this is Ahoy. So this week's tutorial is a pretty simple one. I'll show you how to make your own sub drop. So you need to have either good headphones or subwoofer to hear this tutorial. So what are sub drops? Sub drops are these low frequency booms that are frequently used in hardcore and metal and uh, even in dance music. Uh, how it started was with uh, 808 kicks that uh, the hip hop guys sampled uh, and uh, I actually did some uh, back research and I figured that they started appear in metal somewhere around 93 and at least uh, Korn's debut album has them a lot and it came out in 94 and was recorded in 93 and I think they used them live before that, that so I would take it in early 90s late 80s anyways so it's not a new thing but anyway let's get started what we'll start with is we have a new audio track let's name it subdrop then what we'll have to do is that we'll take a short selection let's take about three seconds and uh, then we go to audio suit other signal generator and here we'll select the frequency to 80 hertz and we'll use the sine wave and let's put the level to minus 10 db and let's click process and next what we'll do is we'll go to pitch shift and verify this uh, plugin comes free with all the new versions of Pro Tools and what it does is that it slows it down and it sounds like this. Okay, let's click process a few times. I think it not might sound okay. Okay, it's just about the thing that we're after. But um, the problem is that even on the systems that don't have a subwoofer you should be able to hear it so what we'll do is that we'll add harmonic distortion to it and i'll use the waves uh, r bass but you can also use the max bass let's uh, try which one sounds better so let's copy that and here we have the max bass and let's uh, try the 80 hertz and preview okay that sounds about okay then click process and then let's try the other one with the R base process okay then what we'll do is that we'll select other gain and point level and let's put it so that the result is at minus one is okay and let's do it for this one point level mm. and process Okay, so the first one is the R bass, and then comes the max bass. You tell which one is better. Okay, after you have done that, what you'll do is that you just go to the folder. So, the actually, let's rename the files. So, this one was the max bass. And this one was the R base. All right. So what you'll do next is that you'll just copy them to your session wherever they are, and that's it. So I'll actually share this with you guys, and uh, I hope you found this totally interesting. And uh, thank you for watching, and make good music.
or something like that.